today's session, we're still busy with job cards and we're still busy looking at the company details, default settings, one option. And we're now going to look at this option here, link job card number to purchase order. Now I'm going to switch this option on and I'm going to say accept. You say yes. If you now go to the job card module, you can auto generate a purchase order on a specific job. So at the bottom here we've got the auto generate option. Now what this option will do for you is it will require you to select the order number for the job card. If I click on the specific job and I say auto generate and I say purchase order, you will have an extra order number option here that forces you to specify a specific number here. Now you can generate this document. It says uh, append the line items to the job card. We'll say accept. And it then tells you that it was successful in creating this purchase order. If I take you to the purchase order screen, you'll see that we've created a purchase order here using that specific job card number. If I switch this feature off, we go to default settings one and I switch the option off. I will repeat what I've done. We'll go back to job cards. I will use the same job to auto generate a purchase order. You now don't have the option to select a specific order number. I'll say generate and I'll say OK. If I take you back to purchase orders, you'll see it's created the latest purchase order here using the next purchase order available under purchase orders, not the number that was used for that job. And that concludes looking at the options under company details, default settings one, where I showed you how you can link a job card number to a purchase order.